Earth has a radius of some 6,400 kilometers. 99% of Earth's atmosphere is contained within a layer approximately 50 kilometers thick. Life on Earth inhabits a layer no more than 9 kilometers thick, extending from a bare few kilometers above sea level. Airborne organisms and life on mountains to a few kilometers below deep ocean basin, creatures in subterranean microbial communities. The biosphere is the portion of Earth in which all known life forms exist. It occupies a thin layer of air, atmosphere, water, hydrogen, and land, lithosphere. Just as we earthly organisms require a source of energy, water, and chemical components of our bodies, so does the entire global biosphere. These services are provided to the biosphere by the global energy and chemical cycles. Most people are familiar with the concepts of cycles, that certain substances move endlessly throughout the Earth's biosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere, and lithosphere, existing in different forms and being used by different organisms at different times, but always moving, always circulating, like water cycle. Water in different forms cycles continuously throughout the lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere, and biosphere. Water evaporates into the atmosphere from the land and the sea. Plants and animals use and reuse water and release water vapor into the air. Once in the air, water va vapor circulates and can condense from a cloud and precipitation which fell back to earth at one time or another all water molecules on earth have been in an ocean a river a plant an animal a cloud a raindrop a snowflake or a glacier cycles of the earth part one of two